Welcome, everybody, and we are fired up for another sensational college football matchup. Nobody at home today who can stake their claim in this neutral side showdown. There's nothing quite like wrapping up a regular season with a bowl victory. It just leaves a good taste in your mouth going into the offseason. As we see a squad from the Big 12, the Colorado Buffaloes, taking on a team from the ACC, the SMU Mustangs. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, joined here in the booth, as always, by David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. Guys, let's tee this one up. to the running back. He kept those legs moving, got three out to the 19. Well, guys, bowl season is here. Always fun to get these non-traditional matchups that you don't see regularly. What do you guys remember about playing in a bowl? I think you remember all the moments throughout the season, throughout your career, and it's the last time that you ever get these group of individuals together. You say goodbye to so many people, and, it, and it's kind of bittersweet, but always fun, Jesse, um, to, do, uh, to dance with your boys one last time. But another thing, too, I love the swag bags, personally. I love getting the gifts. Yeah, I mean, to me, David, really, it was thinking about the tradition and history of these bowl games. I think that's one of the best things about college football. We're in an era today where bowl games don't matter as much as they did back when you and I played, but it was special to take the field with your guys one more time, but playing in games that had so much history. David, given the fact that you are a devoted helmet head, I'm not sure that you're aware there are a lot of other festivities around the bowl game. Did you ever experience any of that? Of course I'm a helmet head. Yeah, spot on. Agree with that, but here's the thing. We did a meat-eating contest at the Outback Bowl my senior year. What squad could eat more steak from Outback? It was absolutely amazing. So I experienced that in all of its form. Going up top on first down. Fires to the tight end. They stop him almost immediately. Short game there and still a little ground cover to pick up the first. Right on target with that last pass. Now it's second and medium. Wide out in motion. Looking for a man. It's Sanders. Quickly out to the tight end. He is tackled, but it'll be a fresh set of downs. These routes have some reads and adaptability built in, and the big fella found that cushion and made the play. Man, it's so awesome how much offenses have evolved. They know exactly what they're getting, where to sit down, quarterback, tight end, on the same page, gets the first down. First down, physicality in these football games. Being able to run the football in great balance, and right here just chews up another first down gives you another chance to maybe continue to run the football. And I feel like this guy, too, is just an explosive play waiting to happen. His vision, his quickness, and he's got a burst. If you give this guy just a crease, he's going to hit it. And right now, he's doing some damage on his defense. The Buffaloes trying to get a touchdown on first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. How about the defender being a heat-seeking missile? He was on radar lock. He found the football and flew down with some bad intentions. He'll pick up three before he's downed at the six. This has been really good for the defense, too. It's kind of a bend-don't-break mentality, right? Really bowing up with your backs against the wall. If you can win this next third down, try to force the opponent into a field goal. That's a win if you're on defense. And he'll be smacked to the ground. This offense wants to establish an aggressive identity. They'll go for it on fourth down. They'll try to power it in. And he takes it in for the score. Touchdown, Bucks! Hey, man, if we're going to 
show up here and play this game, we're not kicking field goals early. We need to come here and just lay up. They drive the field, they get it down fourth and goal. Field goal would have been easy. Head coach decides to go for it. The offense pays off the decision with a touchdown. And he's got the extra point, and it's seven nothing to start this one. They put it in the end zone with a 12 play scoring drive and finished the deal with the short touchdown run from the two. Kickoff team lining up to send this one away. No return coming. He'll call for the fair catch. They'll break the seal on this quarter here on first down. And they capitalize not only on the pick, but the great return to give the offense tremendous field position. You know, after watching that interception, I just wonder if this kid's too amped up to him. He was so excited to take the field. He thought this was going to be a game that he could stat it up, but he's going to have to do a better job tonight with his decision-making. That is not how you want to start a game. And the D deny them on second and goal. Tries again to get it in. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. And with the stuff there, Jesse, on second down, this little third to mid-range, you got two downs. What are you thinking here? Maybe getting your quarterback out on the perimeter and giving him a run-pass option. See if you can get the defense in a bind. Stumbled to the ground. And how about the response from this defense? Put in a horrible situation, horrible field position. Jesse, they bowed their necks three times in a row. Yeah, and it's a sudden change situation. And they practice that all week. You never know when they're going to come up, but you have to have guys on the field playing with a sense of urgency. This has been awesome defensively. He stopped. Fourth and goal, and he lost a yard back to the two. And how about the defense coming up big on fourth and short? You know they're going to run the football. Great job stacking the box, getting the big stop. From his end zone, looking to throw. Got to take care of the ball. That's caught. It's Bailey. Crosses the 30, he's got a late. A huge gain on that one before he ran out of bounds, and he has the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Wide receiver now comes in motion. Touch pass on the jet sweep. You want to make sure to maximize those types of runs, and he gets it out to the 41. Man, the defense, you hold your breath. When this receiver has the football out in space, you have got to make sure you're playing with outstanding pursuit. Nice job there, but as this game goes on, you've got to keep an eye on this guy and make sure they know where he is at all times. Using the quick game. He steps out of bounds, but he's got enough for a first down. And the Mustangs come to the line with a fresh set of downs. Out of the gun, the inside give. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Clock's running, and they'll try to get to the line. Warp speed for second down. Quick completion on the out, and he'll run across the sidelines after the good game. The Mustangs want to pick up the tempo. Little touch pass to the receiver. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. the pull and throw off the RPO. And not much doing there as that defense runs him out of bounds. Picked up some yardage on the ground. Now here comes second down. Fast motion from the offense.
The inside handoff. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. This defense really is on their heels. They've been on the field now for a long time on this drive, and they're just getting pushed around at the point of attack up front like we saw on that last play. They've moved it to the 19, first and 10. Might as well run him until they stop him. He's got it again. Defense is there to make the stop, but he's got the first down, and they'll have it first and goal with the six. On the doorstep of cashing it in for the offense. A first down run on the doorstep. And he'll race it to the house. Touchdown, Mustang! I love that this offense stuck to it, stuck to the run game, didn't panic, they got down, but they answered the bell right before the half, and they got this thing right where they want it now. They can tie this football game and hopefully go into the half with a lot of momentum. So they got the touchdown, and as they kick off, really important for the defense to shut them down here. He'll take the return and try to improve the field position. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Colorado has the ball back, and the Buffaloes hoping to put their team in prime position on offense. They'll start this drive with a pass. Oh, what a spectacular layout and catch. He threw that one with some serious heat. This senior quarterback doesn't need a lot of space to get it in there. Now on first down from the 28. Use the play fake. Now to throw. Unloads it downfield. And that one falls incomplete. They tried to go over the top on first down. Second down coming up. And I know most offensive coaches, they're going to be thrilled taking all these 50-50 shots against man coverage. No, though, if they want to keep testing that defensive back, he has been on fire. And it'll be incomplete. This defense is physical in pass deep. They've made third down offense a key. It'll be tested on third and long through the 28. Looking for a man. It's Sanders. He's taking the shot. And trying to put points on the board on third down. Now they're staring at fourth down. DB does an outstanding job here on the deep pass. Locating the football. No PI. Able to swat it away. Pass incomplete. Fires to the middle. He's got a first down and maybe a lot more. They'll use a timeout right before halftime. Maybe time for one or two more plays. Just a few seconds remaining here as they try to put something up before halftime. Off the play fake on first down. Wants to throw. Looking deep. Oh, he's playing with fire and he's picked off. And they'll drag him down after a good return on the interception. What a nice catch by the defensive back. Listen, a lot of times you see DBs get in position to make plays, but there's a reason they play DB and not wide receiver. Great job finishing the interception, catching the ball, making a big play. The defense calls the timeout their second of the day as they try to get their act together. Just enough time for one final play of the half. Receiver on the move gets the touch pass. He'll be brought down, and that's the final play of the half. And the Buffaloes will kick it off to start the second half. Not going to risk a return here. He'll make the fair catch. Nice. 
the SMU offense is headed back onto the field. We are locked up to start the second half, and guys, you know what? In a bowl, sometimes that intensity really builds in a tight game like this. I think that's why we were really anticipating this game so much. Two very evenly matched teams with a lot of playmakers. We knew this thing could go either way, so for this offense right here, this drive, to start off the second half, David, they need to put something together, really put pressure on the opponent. And the thing I like about bowl games, man, is they're exciting. You go for it more on fourth down, less to lose, not as not as uptight. So I look for this second half to be fun, to be wild, to be loose. And he'll step across the sidelines after making a good gain on that one. This is where you make the money on the drive. Ball at the 30th, third and short. Quick touch pass to the receiver. Hit the afterburners, kid. The 40. At the 30. He's at the 20. And after gobbling up some serious yardage and showing off those wheels, he's finally out of bounds. The entire complexion of this possession changed on that one play. Now they've got it first and 10 inside the 20. From the shotgun, they'll run it. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. And a great job by the linebacker. You could tell starting to crowd the line of scrimmage, get up there in the line of scrimmage, see it, diagnose it, get in the backfield, get the running back on the ground for the tackle for the loss. Well, jet sweep pass. Smashes ahead. They'll get him stopped just short of the end zone, but they're in business here with the first down. It's so important this offense is able to get this guy the ball in space, especially in the perimeter of the field. And I love that last play call because he's able to get outside and use his speed. To me, that's where this guy is most dangerous. Touchdown, SMU! And that one will put him up here in the second half. I love it. Forget all the cute stuff. It's first and goal. I'm trying to get six. Nice job. Just get the quarterback under center. Let us push him into the end zone and get the touchdown. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. And he'll bring it out of the end zone. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. And the Colorado offense is coming back onto the field. Boy, they had that last drive moving a little bit, David, but then the mistake just crushed them. Yeah, and those mistakes are going to happen. You're going to throw the football, you're going to throw interceptions. But I think I stay aggressive with this offense. I get back to what I did in the first part of that drive that made me successful. I agree, David. Just turn the page if you're a quarterback, right? On this drive, you did a lot of good things there leading up to that pick. Forget about it. Move on. Play the next play. Wide receiver shows motion. Quarterback touch pass on the jet sweep. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. Facing a third down and short from the 26. Dropping back, it's Sanders. And that's incomplete. A defender all over him. Knocked the ball to the ground. Fourth down coming up. Well, after struggling so much in the first half, you thought they would have made some adjustments here at halftime to see if they can open up this passing game. But early on in the second half, they're just not really able to get that done. Incompletion on third down in your own end. You're expecting them to punt. Trying to make magic on the scramble. They finally get him on the ground, but not before he rips off enough for a first down. And the Buffaloes will snap it on first and ten. He'll keep it himself. And he won't quite get there, but boy, after that pickup, just a few inches to go for the first, an array of possibilities here. Time winding down in the quarter as they come to the line. Hand off to the lone back. And he's got enough for a first down. Now to see if they have enough time to snap it again here in the third. The Buffaloes are flying down the field. 
Trying to find his man on first down. Excellent coverage and good use of the hands to knock it away. And the incompletion brings up a second down for this offense. He's looking to throw. Floating away. And it'll be incomplete. He got on the move trying to make something happen, but just couldn't find a man. And I tell you what, we've kind of gotten to the point where we expect QBs to be robots and just never to miss and always put it right on the face mask or right on the numbers. And right there, you could tell, he just missed a little bit, a little bit off. And I... Fires into traffic, intercepted. That's why you love veterans in this defense. They stay locked in on their rules, and he made the pick. Oh, man, and that's a big interception late in this game. And listen, I know you're trying to go vertical with the four verts, but so did the defense. Great job staying deep, playing the football in the air, and forcing the ginormous turnover.